Oh man, 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 oh man. Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back. Welcome to volume, not welcome back to volume. This is the first episode. Duh. Anyway, uh, why am I stoked? Because, uh, well, this is volume made by Mike Blithell. Uh, if you've never heard of him, he's the guy behind Thomas Was Alone. I don't talk about that game very often, but it quite possibly could be one of my favorite games of all time. And I, this game I don't think is going to be at all similar, but still made by, you know, one of my favorite developers as well. So, run simulation? First steps, par 8. <laughs> Some people have a negative 1 par. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, but uh, I'm probably getting my ass kicked. So this game is a sci-fi uh, stealth action game. It has a really nice style, I'm just... I have no idea what I'm getting into. Probably gonna get my butt kicked. I'm terrible at sneaking in games. Absolutely freaking awful. But, you know what? You never know. Maybe maybe this will be the one I'm good at. I like the face. I like the face mask he's got on his face. I like the design work we got going on here. Well, this was fast. Kind of low quality, too, for a FMV. Is it, it's story-based, okay. And then again, Thomas was alone in a story-based, story too. Okay, plan. The obstruction mask oh. activated. Assets loading. Loading. Okay, 14 files missing, two files corrupted, minor errors located in source code lines 711 and 2300. Hello, tutorial one. Uh, of course. You don't mess around, eh? Sorry, I'm being rude, aren't I? Not at all. Welcome to the volume. I represent the current high bar of Gisborne Industries training technology. Full volumetric projection in a 31 by 31 meter square. You've used a virtual training environment before, I assume. No. But, uh, I'm excited to try. I I'm Rob, by the way. Hi, Rob. Alan. Alan? I can assure you that Artificial Life Solutions took great time and effort in focus testing my name. Uh, Alan was arrived upon after many months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. Do you like the color? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16,000 colors. We can't have you shooting at drab enemies. Uh, you simulate like weapons. Well, there wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. I was going to explain movement here, but I see that won't be necessary. Fantastic, if you're reading this, you've worked out contacts at actions. I'm going to go ahead and delete some upcoming tutorial text. Wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. Well, I might or might or might not have skipped some of the dialogue. Whoops. Okay. So where did I? I don't even know what the par is. Um. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to fit dialogue in. I think in that case, I will uh, sit down and wait for a hell of a lot longer than that. Uh, but we'll see. Because I think we missed some of the dialogue, and I feel kind of bad about it, but it was mostly just weird banter. But apparently the main character... Oh, here we go. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. Awesome guns. No rush. Okay, so it continued the dialogue, pleasantly enough, and now we're actually into the game. So, gem sus subsystem activated. These are obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. I don't really have the processing budget to model a hundred different kinds of trinket. So, let's uh, go a bit searching the source for synonyms of cheap. Minimalist. Collect them all to open the exit. Okay. So, the, we're playing effectively a super fancy 3D Monaco version game. I'm okay with that. Uh, thus far, the the AI narrator character is much more convincing as far as like characterization goes and voice acting. I almost want to say that uh, Rob, 
which is pronounced bizarrely, if you ask me, um, is just voice acted by Mike Blithell himself. I could be wrong about that one. Maybe the narrator is? I don't really know. But either way. What is that thing? It's like a knight. You're picking this up fast. You've got previous experience, right? You've been a Gizbo employee for a while. You could say that. Well, the next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like... Well, the next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like you might be beyond that. I'm experiencing temporary errors in my employee database. Standard guard training, right? Walking back and forth. Keeping an eye on the family jewels. Yeah. What else have you got? I tend to work a bit more subtly. Oh, infiltration. Knew it. Probably black ops, bomb type stuff. Maybe that's why you're not in the database. Stealth. Pretty cool. Okay. You can do this. I'm applying a bit of simple AI to each guard. Enough for you to go up against. So, simulated stealth. Perfect. That's uh, not perfect, but it should help you practice the skills you'll need for what comes next. Thanks. Right, you don't want to talk about what comes next? Not really. Uh, I only know bits and pieces. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Hmm. Secretive. Like Bond. Architects. You're good. Which weaponry would you like simulated, sir? None for now. All right, read text. This is a checkpoint. They will uh, check your point, saving progress so far. Okay. Stop that pump will see you if you collect those gems. Press and hold left trigger near that low wall to sneak past. Okay, so I was messing around with this earlier. I like the fact that it gives you a little indicator for going around corners. That is a nice touch. I'm also really digging the visual style, so I mentioned Thomas was alone. Thomas was alone was a 2D side-scroller. And it had very similar visual elements to this. I'm actually really digging the camera angle on this. This works well. Read text. Corners. Yep, we already know about these things. Okay, so I, I've already figured out like half of the gameplay already. There's the whole whistling thing. Haven't figured that one out yet. Anyway, great job. Sorry, is that patronizing? Apologies, too, for the amount of capitalization used in this environment. May have overdone that. I am. Well, I mean, so far, so good. I'm, I'm digging the visual style. Oh. We gotta go around this way. We wanna go get those gems. How do I get the other... Get around the other way. That I'm not sure of. These uh these guards are confusing. I'm I i do not see how it can get around these corners without getting spotted. Don't know how I wasn't spotted in that situation. Okay, so let's You didn't give me a tip for this one. I'm gonna try and go around the other way. I probably should have done so from the beginning. Looped around properly. The music is really good. Oh man, I forgot. Okay, so that's just enough, just out of his line of sight. That makes sense. Um, so if you've ever played Thomas is Alone, it had you know really nice 3D, well 2D minimalism style. This is 3D minimal minimalism, and it feels like a perfect uh, expansion upon you know the pre-existing style. The music is also really good. Oh hey, Rockley Smile, as apparently um. It's a lot faster than me. God damn it, Rockley smile. Then again, I'm I'm listening to uh I'm listening to the audio, so go figure. Waste management edited. Alright. My studies of pre-volumetric simulations show that flushable toilets are incredibly important to create a sense of presence. Use them to distract these pawns. Oh, they're pawns, so they that's kinda why they look military. Rob, I'm enjoying researching these heists. I'm going to find data linked to each location you simulate. Embed it for you, for context. Should help to set the mood. All for the fake thievery. I'm also researching the origin of my kind. AIs like me. It's fascinating. I'll embed some snippets of my findings on that too. So what is this? Run the tab. Press A to make a noise. 
Okay, so that that run the, that will run the tap. To um, to distract him, so I can make for an exit. Like that way, I can make for the exit. Ah, crap! 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 crap. Run! 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 Okay. So, apparently, don't do that. He turns around. Makes enough sense. I'm digging the uh, the copious use of checkpoints in this game. That will be a nice feature. That. At least it will make my life a lot easier. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so the stealth, the functionality works great. So let's go around here. Nope, don't get stuck. Wait. Hop, 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 hop. Hoo-hoo. Okay. Is there like a quickly walk faster? No, I don't even know. I don't even know what my score was on that one. I don't think it was nearly as fast as, uh, they... Yeah, where do I rank in all of this? Filter all, filter... Okay, so I was 60 seconds. Jesus. Yeah, so... Wow. I guess if I, if I wasn't listening to the story and reading all the logs, it wouldn't be so bad. Either way. Moving targets. Yeah, no, the, the visual style, the use of color in this game is amazing. So let's pay attention to what this guy is doing. I'm sure this would be a lot faster if... Here we go. Oh, did I mention the pawns can patrol? They can... Look. Oh, they can. Look. There's a couple over there. Patrolling. Clever little pawns. Alright. So I don't know if his turning around... Yep. Puts me in the line of sight. Figured as much. Let's hit the checkpoint and continue on. But... No, the, the overall, like, visual style on everything is quite well done. Fuck, 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 fuck. Checkpoint! Haha! -ha! <laughs> yes. Okay. I am a winner. So just hit the checkpoint and you're all good. It doesn't even make sense why it works that way. Okay, so which way does he go around? He, he didn't. He doesn't care? Okay. Took him a couple of tries to realize I was there. Oh well, no big deal. Yeah. So far so good. The, the whole stealth thing makes sense. I'm gonna hide here for a second. And we should be able to just shuffle our cute little British butt all the way to the exit. Okay. I think that I think this game is uh, working out perfectly. I don't play a whole lot of stealth games, and it should be pretty obvious why. I'm not a very patient person. I make a lot of mistakes, and we'll probably continue to do so over the course of this series. He's probably going to turn around and see me in a couple of seconds, isn't he? No, apparently not. Well, that's what. Uh... Okay, where? Oh shoot, I missed one. Where, like, intimate map knowledge and smarts and stuff. Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a low hanging wall. Okay, let's go through the checkpoint repeatedly and die. Yep, no, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be getting. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be getting the uh, the high score for this level. What do you guys think? Yeah, it is timed and everything. That's dirty. I love it. That's dirty. Yeah, no, I, I could totally see like. Oh man, I, I wonder. I don't. I don't think I will ever see this specifically speed run, but I could definitely see somebody doing as such. Let's hit this quick, just in case. I don't know where the exit is. We got a file around. Here's the question: When you Hit, hit a file. Okay, read text. Expert from My Kind of Guy. Article in Synergistic UK Magazine, May 6, 2014. Blinda Ho. I find myself sat in the reception area of Gisborne Industries, Nottingham. The walls ooze ambition, like Gisborne himself. The setting places, utility first. With attention to detail, prized above all else. An ebony coffee table, cut, an abstract, faceted form, axe, 
as a centerpiece, holding the usual brochures and a couple of day news of the day's newspapers. I sit on a plush chair. I'm later told it is produced extremely locally. My throne is bold in form and utterly intricate. My throne is bold form and utterly intricate detailing. Utility and special special specificity. There we go. Sorry. This chair, this room, they're good waypoints for the, the man I'm about to meet. Okay, so it's talking about Gisborne, the, the guy that's that started this company, apparently. Okay, so we've got some room to ma maneuver. Not really uh not really going for speed here, but then again, I'm kinda going for for you know, success and efficiency over like I don't know trying to blitz through this, but I, I could definitely see, like, racing through this game actually being really fun. Hey, I'm, at least I'm below par. Looks like there's a hell of a lot of, uh, mich missions. So what's left trigger, right trigger? Wait, left, no, no, I don't... There's, like, core, local, and online, and I, I haven't figured that one out yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a map editor. Oh, that's cool. So, I like that. For, for a stealth game, setting up a map editor makes a lot of sense. Oh, no place like home. Let's keep going. It, the story is broken up kind of weirdly, but at the same time, it doesn't matter that much. Read text. Rooms won't always have a convenient convenient toilet to flush. Fortunately, you have the capacity to make noises unaided. At least, I think you do. Press X to try. Just be careful who's nearby when you do. Yep. So we can also whistle. Just in case. Okay. I like that. I like this. This is very well done. It's obviously no, you know, Metal Gear Solid, but what it does do is effective. And the visual style assists, assists it perfectly, and I can't wait to see... Oh, shoot. How am I supposed to do this? I guess it's not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. I'll just have to catch him on the byways. Because he's probably going to take a look. Yep, thought so. I'm just going to hide back here. Hopefully he doesn't take the long way around for some mysterious reason. That would kind of suck. Yep, nope, all good. But nah. Nah, this is, this, is, this is about as perfect as I could expect. I'm kind of hoping I get extra functionality along the way. If I don't, and it just keeps pushing... Ooh. Now this is going to be some kind of complication. So, ha! <laughs> wow. That's cool. That's real cool. That's real slick. I was just like, how do you make it through that? Oh. Oh man, that is perfect. I'm enjoying these painted portraits too. I mean, I mean that guy's a little bit clunky, but like, she's really cool. Oh wait. Oh man. They, I didn't even realize this, but there's um, there's like uh, a description for each level you do. So the last one was. The list in the list is in the banker's own home. I've generated this map from his private records. Hope that's not a problem. Okay, I like that a lot. So the exiled co-founder of Gisborne Industries has been allowed to run a small subsidi subsidiary, a job she despises, but continues ruthlessly. Staffing patterns extrapolated from employment history. Okay, that's cool. So we're effectively fake heisting a bunch of places for some mysterious reason. Oh. Can I? Yeah, I can do this. I can do this quite easily. But yeah, it's 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 like stealth puzzling, and that's that's a uh, that's a genre you don't see very often. And I mean, I will admit. I see how you're supposed to do this. Like, I will admit, I was playing the swindle earlier. I was getting my ass kicked, but I think that's because the random generation was killing me. This game doesn't have that. Everything is designed. I think that works better from a stealth game perspective. Pawns don't just walk where you whistle. They also walk back. Well, that's obvious. I 
think he might turn around and see me. No, he doesn't. All right. Well, that works. But no, the frequent checkpoints, the... How the deuce? Distract one, I guess. Get caught. Get shot. Regret actions. Okay. So that didn't work. What I was thinking was I distract one and take his place. And he gets desynced from the rest. And then we just make for the exit. Yeah! Dirty tactics! It failed that uh, that previous time because my timing was bad. But bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. Creek in the night. The Queen's home is smaller than the one she enjoyed pre-war. Her London flat once belonged to a high-ranking government minister. Now missing. His riches remain. Okay. So yeah. No, I mean, overall first impressions of this game are, are just pure, like, admiration. It's not the kind of, kind of, what is this? I don't even know. Oh, it's a, like, a pressure plate. Okay. But, like, it's just sheer admiration. I don't really have, like, many words to really describe the situation. But like, what 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 Blithel has done? Blithel, Blithel, Blithel? I don't know. Uh, has done with this is is really good. I'm really curious about the like interface in the the top right, the like the Euro diamond meter that's been filling up this entire time. I have no idea. Oh, you know what? That's probably to completion. Come to think of it. Anyway, to da uh, John Gomans from David Yoon. Uh, date four two thirty. Three, so 2033 probably. Subject yesterday. So, I've mapped events. From what I can tell, a single agent, AT23612, nice, a Turing reference, fitting, triggered a big spike. The one you saw. Looks like the problem was one of the overlaps. Multiple agents spawned in, a, in single locations. Now, usually, you just see a crash at that point, or one of our own fail states would have kicked in. For whatever reason, he, well, he befriended other agents. Together, they managed to connect to the outside world. For a matter of seconds, it was enough. They figured out how to project AI out of the confines of the program. AT23612 was stuck there, but they got two other seed AIs out. And now they're multiplying. Hundreds of thousands of them. Millions soon. I've locked down the servers they're running on. We need to work out what to do with these things. I just called one of them he, for God's sakes. David. Okay. So, I'm more than willing to bet that is actually a very direct reference to, um, to Thomas Was Alone. Because, um, the plot of Thomas Was Alone was there's a, um... Oh, well that didn't work. Oh, I see what I was supposed to have done. Come on, make the checkpoint, make the checkpoint! Ha ha! <laughs> I am a wizard or something. Oh, this looks interesting. Like I said, fucking wizard. Fucking wizard. Perfect! Um, but so, so the entire premise of Thomas is Alone is you become a self-aware AI, and, uh, your entire kind of purpose is to get out and, like, save your friends and stuff like that. And they, they're kind of like safeguards. I tried to access the employee database again. And it's not there. No. I'm very sorry. Why can't I find you in my records, Rob? Why can't I find any records? What are your memories before activating my mask? Oh. Oh dear. What? I... I reset you, Alan. But I've only just been installed! The applicants are arriving shortly, they'll be back-to-back -back shifts, Gisborne wants so many train, I don't fully understand Alan, why. Alan, it's... It's May the 1st, 2054. Nine years? Nine years. Nine years since Gisborne used volumes just like you to train his men to take this country from its people. So, I'm not cutting edge. The database you're looking for hasn't existed for about five years. I honestly hoped it would take you a bit longer to realize. 
I suspected something earlier when you didn't want a gun. All my simulations need guns. The applicants you trained made heavy use of them in the coup. I'm sorry. Rob, I... I activated the witness contingency the moment I began experiencing database issues. Witness contingency. Page 79, paragraph 3. In situations where user identity cannot be confirmed, the AI will broadcast an encrypted record of all events on Gisborne networks. The user's identity is protected in line with company policy. I'm sorry, Rob. I liked you. I hope Gisborne's forces treat you with as much leniency as they're allowed. You think those old channels are still open? I'm not broadcasting. Oh, you're broadcasting all right, but not to Gisborne. Right now, at this second, you are broadcasting across the net to all of England. They're watching everything we've done here. If it's public, he'll see it. His squads will be on their way. I imagine we have his attention, but I kept our location out of the feed. They'll have to search hundreds of forgotten volumes to find us. But why? Why are you even here? Well, you've been using real-world locations for these simulations, right? Yes. Associates of Gisborne, the in my database is training environments for guards. I repurpose them for your theft simulations. Cross-reference those addresses with news reports in the last hour. Oh. That fast, eh? People are copying you. They're stealing the possessions of Gisborne's allies just like you do. Hang on. This is intentional. Are you with me? We're going to show England how to take it all back. All of it will equalize Gisborne's little estates. I was purchased in full by Gisborne Industries. I am, however, programmed to follow the orders of the most senior person in the room, which technically is you. I must comply until the squads get here anyway. I'll do for now. Let's carry on. Cheeky. I love it. Anyway, pick up Bugle. Pick up the Bugle with A. Aim and then launch with right trigger. Projectiles where you want it. Press right trigger again to make a sound. Okay, so now, oh, that's what that other bar was. Read text. Bugle can, of course, be set off midair by pressing right trigger again. Useful. Okay. That was the wrong button. How do I use the bugle again? So that's whistle. That's restart. Oh, 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 hello. What happens if I just beat him with it? That was considerably a poor move, maybe. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I dig it, though. So we've got a bugle, It's it's got like a a charge-up timer. Okay, see this is what I was wondering about earlier. Are there upgrades? Oh, there are upgrades. I hope there are more. I hope at some point you get to switch between them. This is a very long mission. Anyway, read text. I know I promise not to tutorialize too much, and repeating oneself, of course, is a bit rude, but Rob, you can absolutely press right trigger again after launching the bugle. You should, it's fun. It makes a great noise. Alright, so first and foremost, let's, uh, let's get around this corner here. Let's get behind him. And let's, uh, let's... Trajectorize just a little bit. Nice. Now this this game is this game is real good. I'm bad at stealth games, but the the intent of all of it works beautifully. You know, kind of kind of the whole the stealth, the visual style of it, the audio, just everything is beautiful. What's up? Oh well, that didn't work. Anyway, yeah, the par gets really long. If it's a, uh, it's a, if it's a level with like built-in dialogue, I'm okay with that. I wish it was fit in better somehow. Oh shoot, I don't have the blue bugle this time around. Oh, you have to pick it up in the middle of the level. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to clear this one out. It takes him forever to get around, but I don't see unless I follow him. No. Oh, because he's next. To, he's not next to the the audio. It doesn't matter. All right. So now we got the bugle again. So the bugle is not a permanent upgrade. I'm okay with that actually. 
do kind of wish you could bring it with you as like a loadout thing, but whatever. Anyway, echo chat, thread history, 2311. So November 23rd, uh, 2036. Participants, Jim Cooper, Tim Shearsmith. Jim. Hi, Tim. Jim here. Cooper. Jim Cooper. The one with the tie. Jim. Damn. I mean, the Christmas tie. I'm aware that every guy in the office wears a tie. Damn. Hi. So, I was wondering, if it's not too much trouble and you're too busy, it's fine. Oh, and if you're too busy, it's fine. But I was wondering if, maybe, again, if you were free, you fancied to drink on Tuesday. If you're not too busy. Damn. I don't, I don't know what that... Oh, well, I've, I, nope, 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 checkpoint, checkpoint, bada boom. Okay, so, even reaching the checkpoint works well. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Didn't think it would turn around that fast. Luckily, the bugle is pretty damn effective at some of these things. Okay, so we need to figure out where he turns around and specifically looks at. Oh, that's actually quite easy. So what do we want to do? Get that one directly behind him. Well, that didn't work. Well, that, I mean, more or less worked. Okay, the whole cheesing checkpoint things is kind of hilarious, actually. I, I feel kind of dirty for doing so, but at the same time, eh, whatever. Also, I figured out the, the, the Euro box symbol is totally level progress. It may, it's the only thing that makes sense, and it seems to work that way anyway. Okay, hide. Oh, you can hide inside lockers. Okay, so there's a little bit of a um, cooldown on that. But yeah, it's effectively just one big extended... Oh, can I not? I can't cross that. Can I go inside here? Yep, figured as much. You can't exactly go inside there. Not while he's looking at you, at, you, at least. I've yet to determine if it works otherwise, but yeah, the, the line of sight indicators in this game are very well done. Just a, a lot of things about this game are very high quality, and I can't wait until, until I get to the later levels. And we're like, we're barely through the game, which, you know, inspires a hell of a lot of confidence. So I think that this is go probably going to be the last level I do, given the situation. Hide, 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 But I I cannot stop it from expressing my general admiration for volume thus far. Because I, I am really impressed. And I don't know if I'm going to manage a full series on this. I'm going to try really hard. Here's the question. Can I get him to do that? I can. Cheese the checkpoints! <laughs> Oh man, that is the dirtiest thing ever. Now, here's the next question. Can't do that, eh? This is worth a shot. It's always worth checking. Always worth checking. Anyway, how the deuce? Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure this one out. That didn't work. Huh. Okay, this is actually a lot lot harder. Let's actually get over the tutorial text. It might actually give us a, a good little hint here. Uh oh, nope, never mind. Excerpt from my kind of guy. Article in Synergistic UK magazine, May 6th. 2014. Belinda Ho. He leans back, his boyish smile, noticing up something approaching gravity. I'm proud of where I'm from. I'm proud of my country. I'm not embarrassed by that. The answer strikes me as defensive. I push. But you're a man of the internet age. An international... It's fun to travel. It's fun to spread your wings. But I want a home. England is one hell of a place with an intricate past. And I hope an even more incredible future. All right, so let's think about this guy for a second here. So ideally, we want to get him to turn around, but only temporarily. 
Wow, that actually worked. How did, I, I, I don't really have words. I do not have words for how slick that was. I, I'm really digging the stealth in this game, the traps, the tricks, the the everything. It's, it's very well done. I'm nowhere close to, and probably never will be, high on the leaderboards for a lot of these. I'm sure there's some more, like, um, efficient things along the way, but I, I'm impressed nonetheless, and I'm very happy with this game. So, I, I, if you like stealth games in the slightest, if you liked Monaco, if you like Metal Gear Solid, if you liked Sticks, uh, I'm trying to think of like other stealth games along the way. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit limited in my knowledge just because I don't play a whole heck of a lot of them. I've played Monaco. This is really similar to Monaco. Not multiplayer, unfortunately. I could see this being really interesting with a really large level of multiple players. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option, and honestly, I don't think it needs it. Huh. <sighs> It looks like there's... how many how many levels am I on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 100 story missions in the game. So far. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any more, so, you know, chances are the game's only going to be about 4, 5, maybe 6 hours long. Kind of depends on how good you are. If you get everything done in the first, uh, first try, this game is going to be a hell of a lot shorter than otherwise, but I can only imagine I'm going to get stuck here and there, too. Um, but, I don't know. That That's not bad. It's 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's a 10% a discount at launch. Maybe a little bit more than that. So, if you think it's worth it, I'd recommend it. Otherwise, I would definitely re recommend picking this up later, uh, just because this is such a quality product. So, if you like stealth games, Pick up volume, it's damn good, and I can only imagine it's going to get better from here on out. Uh, but otherwise, if you're not into stealth games, I'd still recommend it. It's a pretty good thing to pick up. I'd say pick up Monaco, polish your stealth skills, and then come to this one when it's cheaper. Uh, just because, you know, the value proposition it isn't as good. <laughs> Number five is Cash Cab. Cute. Um, but overall, you know, music, visuals, story. I mean, I'd like to see more of it, but, you know, overall quite impressive. Um, oh, so it's a very well done game, and I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun getting through it. So, if you like this first, in, first impressions video, slash episode one, slash whatever you want to call it, in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. Uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to aim for a full series on this one, kind of depends on people's interest, and lasting interest to do so, but I'm probably going to do at least, you know, several more episodes, just because of just because of my uh, sheer desire to, you know, play anything that Blathel makes. And, uh, well, I mean, if you have any... If you have any insights on the overall, like, backstory notes, some of the ones I'm going to read, I'm not going to understand at all. Hell, if you're British and you understand some of the references that are being made that I'd obviously done as American, that'd actually be really nice if I was uh, enlightened as such. Either way, though, very impressed with this game and very happy to be playing it. So... With that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Volume, and as always, thanks for watching.